Hey guys, it's Di, and I thought for today's vlog I would do a dedicated tour of the playroom. I've been meeting to do one of these, and people seem to enjoy them. So this is our new playroom at our new house that we moved to in October. We've been here about two months, maybe about a month and a half. We're starting to get settled in, but it took a while. <laughs> but we, the playroom was really the first room that was set. So this room was really one of the main draws for getting this house. If you saw the vlogs during that time period, I think everyone kind of knew that right away. But we're really enjoying having this room, and it's nice having the playroom on the lower level. If you guys remember at our last house, the playroom was on the upper level. It was kind of like a loft area. So this is nice having it on the main level near the kitchen and the family room, which is right here behind me, kind of one of the main gathering areas where adults might be and that sort of thing. So I will show you the new playroom. So this is what the playroom looks like from the family room and this is kind of a room that we use for a lot of different things, kind of sitting and conversating and also watching TV and that sort of thing. So as you walk into the room back here, it's a nice big open space and I will say that I do think that they have a few too many toys in here so we're going to be editing some things out and Christmas is coming up as well. So we're going to be getting rid of um, some things, donating some things, and also rotating out some things. But over here at the side, there is a changing table. This is the one that we had in the, or it was in the family room before downstairs in the same rug that was at the foot of it. And then we just have our smile sign was also in the playroom. We've also just been keeping their little vacuum cleaner over here to the corner, seems to work well. And their little play tunnel, which folds out into like a six foot tunnel over here next to the diaper genie. It just works well over there. And then right as you walk in, there's their little activity table. They use this for coloring and doing worksheets. We added the two additional chairs for when they have friends over that have Mickey and Minnie sitting in them right now. And that has been working out pretty well. Natalie actually prefers sitting in those chairs for whatever reason. Um, but this is where their activity table is. And that works especially well because we have our office area over here, which our cat is using right now. Um, but when I'm doing copies and things like that of their worksheets, we have all their learning area over here, which I still need to get this Christmas ties. <laughs> Christmas ties. I still need to make that Christmassy. Um, but when I'm doing worksheets, all their workbooks and things like that are over here. So I can easily grab a workbook, take it over to the printer, make a copy, and then um, take it over to their table. So all of their learning supplies are over here. This is basically all the same um, from my learning supplies tour. But we change the date and have our calendar here when we're doing our different learning activities. We have them up on this board. Uh, I need to get to a teacher supply store and change it over to like a winter Christmas theme. All of their flashcards and things like that are in here. We have a board game, I Spy board game, and some flashcards in there. And then there are different learning books and then just extra books down here along the bottom shelf. So that works really well as kind of our learning storage station. And uh, they also have their little baby doll that Natalie got for her birthday. They push that stroller around and really like it. So that's over here on this side of the room. Then as you kind of walk into the room, I tried to group it into different stations. There's their art easel here over here to the side and it's kind of by the window so they can look out and do things over here. So all of their little wheeled items are parked over here and that's right next to their dress up station area. They've got their little Build-A-Bear little armoire here which has all their Build-A-Bear clothes and American Girl doll clothes over here and then their dress-up station which my husband made for them hanging all of their dresses on it and their hats which is a little bit disarray but this is our most used item in the room I would say 100% the girls use this every day and then we also got this cute little washer and dryer set um, this was inherited from one of their cousins that used it so I'm not sure uh, what they have currently available but this is by Little Takes uh, somebody was asking and it's really cute it's got like a a little ironing board over here and then the washer spins and the dryer spins they can actually put things in there and pretend they're doing laundry so that's super cute so this is kind of like our uh, dress up and imaginary station over here the rug that I got for over here is well actually this was going to be on the other side of the room but I got this little car rug at Target and they like driving cars on that and then their train tables here in the middle of the room. Once Natalie is a little bit older, we will put their train on there. We have like a full train set. They're still just a little bit too young for it. So right now it's basically a toy table and toy storage. Right here we have all of their Legos. Natalie got a number of Jake and the Pirate Legos for her birthday. So those are stored underneath there. And we just have some toys we've had for a super long time, like this little mailbox and some puzzles. Over here are the two Fisher Price bigger toys that we have, the Princess Castle and the Zoo Talker Zoo. And then down here we have more toy parking, <laughs> um, this little preschool thing, the gears, they really like that, and then the little farm. 
I just park all the vehicles underneath there. And then Natalie got this little music set for her birthday, so that's currently being stored there. And back here, between the windows, is their book area. And those are just two different chairs from Target. Well, they're the same chair, but two chairs from Target. And their book console in the middle to hold all their books. And then just an oval rug in the middle from Target. And a custom little sign from Cute Kid Creations. It says Playtime. I really like that one. And then over here, this is kind of like the main play area. I got this big rug from overstock.com. I love this rug. It's so comfortable to sit on. It's nice and plush and just very a fun rug also. I love that it has the ABC, so there's a little bit of learning aspect to it as well. And so we moved our Trofast tro system over here to the side. This is from Ikea, and we're actually thinking about getting a third uh, shelving system as they get older. This thing is super useful and we love it. It's worked out really, really great. So we're thinking about getting a third one and putting it possibly right over there where their little mini kitchen is, which that's a baby toy, so that's probably on its way out. And then there's Natalie's little plain thing that she got for her birthday. But right now we're using the top of the Trofast to store some of their dolls that they have out. And then we also have their artwork thing here hanging over the top of the Trofast system on this wall. Their kitchen, which looks extremely tiny in this room, I'm really kind of kicking myself that I didn't get a bigger kitchen. I'm wishing that I would have got a bigger kitchen because when both girls are trying to use this, this kitchen is really not big enough. Um, but their kitchen is over here to the side. And then they have their two car things. There's one here in this corner and then also their kind of loop-de-loop -loop one here. And... Over here is kind of like the princessy girly station. This has all of their like girly items stored in this. And so this is their little vanity that makes fun noises. All of their Minnie Mouse uh, dress up items. Their kind of cupcake and tea party items. And down here are all of the different stuffed animals. And if you guys missed the Trofast review, um, all of their cars that go with the different car things are in a bin. All of their princesses that go with the princess castle are in a bin. Uh, all of their food that goes with the kitchen and the food items is in a bin. So we just have it different categories. Um, this is kind of a just baby toy bin. These are the animals that go with the Zoo Talkers Zoo. So everything's kind of categorized and we kind of just remember where everything is. You could put a picture on the outside or the word of what is inside the bin, but I don't think I'm going to do that until they're older, actually, because these have been working perfectly as they are. So I just, the bins work great, and this has been working fantastic for us just as it is. And then over here in the corner, we have their TV stand. This is the same one that was in the other room with their TV DVD player. So if they're watching a movie, they can watch it back here. And the only other thing is this little activity table. This is kind of moves around the room. It kind of just goes wherever, and <laughs> Natalie kind of moves it wherever she wants. So this is kind of the main part of the playroom. They had their picnic set set out there. I thought that was cute, so I left that. And it's working out really, really well for us. I do think there's a few too many toys in here right now, so we're going to be doing some editing. And, of course, Christmas is coming up, so we try to get everything age-appropriate. But this room has worked out really, really well, and we are really enjoying it. <laughs> Are you tired of hearing mommy talk? <laughs> you hurt my ears, so I got two puzzles. Oh. <laughs> I hurt her ears, so she got two puzzles. All right, well, Bella's tired of hearing me talk. So you're going to show us how you use your playroom. Do you like your new playroom? And I'm going to show you how to be a bigger. Set my crayons in the place that I knew. So I cannot change the right order. All right. <laughs> so you're going to put your crayons in the right order. Good job. So that is the playroom at the new house, and I will be sure to update in future updates just to kind of show you what it's looking like, but we are really, really liking it. It's a great space for the girls, and it's uh, just a really nice space that I think can change with them as they grow, and we've had a lot of fun with it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.